The Book of Mormon, Part 2 The First Book of Nephi An account of Lehi and his wife Sariah and his four sons being called, being at the eldest, Laman, Lemuel, Sam, and Nephi. The Lord warned Lehi to depart out of the land of Jerusalem, and because he prophesied unto the people concerning their iniquity, and they seek to destroy his life. He taketh three days, journey into the wilderness with his family. Nephi taketh his brethren, and returns to the land of Jerusalem after the record of the Jews. To the accounts of their sufferings, they take the daughters of Ishmael to wife. They take their families and depart into the wilderness. Their sufferings and afflictions in the wilderness, the course of their hand travels, they come to the large waters. Nephi's brethren rebel against him. He confounded them and built a ship. They call the name of the place Bountiful. They cross the large waters into the promised land, and so forth. This is according to the account of Nephi, or in other words, I, Nephi, wrote this record. Chapter 1 Nephi begins the record of his people. Lehi sees, in vision, a pillar of fire and reads from a book of prophecy. He praises God, foretells the coming of the Messiah, and prophesies the destruction of Jerusalem. He is persecuted by the Jews. I, Nephi, having been born of goodly parents, therefore I was taught somewhat in the ma in the learning of my father, and having seen many afflictions in the course of my days, nevertheless having been highly favored of the Lord in all my days, yea, having had a great knowledge of the goodness and the mysteries of God, therefore I make a record of my proceedings in my days. Yea, I make a record in the language of my father, which consists of the learning of the Jews and the language of the Egyptians. And I know that the record which I make is true, and I make it with mine own hands, and I make it according to my knowledge. For it came to pass in the commencement of the first year of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judea, my father Lehi, having dwelt at Jerusalem in all his days. And in that same year they came many prophets, prophesying unto the people that they must repent for the great city Jerusalem must be destroyed. Wherefore it came to pass that my father Lehi, as he went forth, prayed unto the Lord, yea, even with all his heart, in behalf of his people. And it came to pass, as he prayed unto the Lord, there came a pillar of fire and dwelt upon a rock before him. And he saw and heard much. And because of the things which he saw and heard, he did quake and tremble exceedingly. And it came to pass that he returned to his own house at Jerusalem, and he cast himself upon his bed, being overcome with the Spirit and the things which he had seen. And being thus overcome with the Spirit, he was carried away in a vision, even that he saw the heavens open, and he thought he saw God sitting upon his throne surrounded with numberless concourses of angels in the attitude of singing and praising their God. And it came to pass that he saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and he beheld that his luster was above that of the sun at noonday. And he also saw twelve others following him, and their brightness did exceed that of the stars in the filaments. And they came down and went forth upon the face of the earth. And the first came and stood before my father, and gave unto him a book, and bade him that he should read. And it came to pass that as he read, he was filled with the Spirit of the Lord. And he read, saying, Woe, woe unto Jerusalem, for I have seen thy abominations. Yea, and many things did my father read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed, and the inhabitants thereof. 
many should perish by the sword, and many should be carried away captive into Babylon. And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great and marvelous things, he did examine many things unto the Lord, such as, Great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. Thy throne is high in the heavens, and thy power and goodness and mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. And because thou art merciful, thou wilt not suffer those who come unto thee, that they shall perish. And after this manner was the language of my father in the praising of his God. For his soul did rejoice, and his whole heart was filled because of those things which he had seen, yea, which the Lord had shown unto him. And now I, Nephi, did not make a full account of the things which my father hath written, for he hath written many things which he saw in visions and in dreams. And he hath written many things which he prophesied and spake unto his children, of which I shall not make a full account. But I shall make account of my proceedings in my days. Behold, I make an abridgment of the record of my father upon plates which I have made with mine own hand. Wherefore, after I have abridged the record of my father, then will I make an account of mine own life. Therefore, I would let ye should know that after the Lord had shown so many marvelous things unto my father, Lehi, yea, concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, behold, he went forth among the people and began to prophesy and declare unto them concerning the things which he had both seen and heard. And it came to pass that the Jews did mock him because of the things which he testified to them. For he truly testified of their wickedness and their abomination. And he testified that the things which he saw and heard, and also the things which he read in the book, manifested plainly of the coming of a Messiah, and also the redemption of the world. And when the Jews heard these things, they were angry with him. Yea, even as the prophets of old, whom they had cast out and stoned and slain, and they also sought his life, that they might take it away. But behold, I, Nephi, will show unto you that the tender mercies of the Lord are over all those whom he hath chosen, because of their faith, to make them mighty even unto the power of deliverance. Chapter 2 Lehi takes his family into the wilderness by the Red Sea. They leave their property. Lehi offers a sacrifice to the Lord and teaches his son to keep the commandments. Laman and Lemuel murmur against their father. Nephi is obedient and prays in faith. The Lord speaks to him, and he is chosen to rule over his brother. For behold, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto my father, yea, even in a dream, and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Lehi, because of the things which thou hast done. And because thou hast been faithful, and declared unto this people the things which I commanded thee, behold, they seek to take away thy life. And it came to pass that the Lord commanded my father, even in a dream, that he should take his family and depart into the wilderness. And it came to pass that he was obedient unto the word of the Lord, wherefore he did as the Lord commanded him. And it came to pass that he departed into the wilderness, and he left his house, and the land of his inheritance, and his gold, and his silver, and his precious things, and took nothing with him, save it were his family, and provisions, and tents, and departed into the wilderness. And it came to pass, or, and he came down by the borders near the shore of the Red Sea, and he traveled in the wilderness in the borders which are nearest the Red Sea. And he did travel in the wilderness with his family, which consisted of my mother Sariah and my elder brothers, who were Laman, Lemuel, and Sam. And it came to pass that when he had traveled three days in the wilderness, he pitched his tent in the valley by the side of the river of water. And it came to pass that he built an altar of stone and made an offering unto the Lord and gave thanks unto the Lord our God. 
And it came to pass that he called the name of the river Laman, and it emptied into the Red Sea, and the valley was in the borders near the mouth thereof. And when my father saw that the waters of the river emptied into the fountain of the Red Sea, he spake unto Laman, saying, O oh, that thou mightest be like unto this river, continually running into the fountain of righteousness. And he also spake unto Laman, O oh, that thou might be unto this valley, firm and steadfast, and immovable, and keeping the commandments of the Lord. Now this he spake, because of the stiff neckedness of Laman and Lemuel. For behold, they did murmur in many things against our father, because he was a visionary man. And he led them out of the land of Jerusalem, to leave the land of their inheritance, and their gold, and their silver, and their precious things, to perish in the wilderness. And this they said he had done, because of the foolish imaginations of his heart. And thus Laman and Lemuel, being the eldest, did murmur against their father, and they did murmur because they knew not the dealings of that God who had created them. Neither did they believe that Jerusalem, that great city, could be destroyed according to the words of the prophets. And they were like unto the Jews who were at Jerusalem, who sought to take away the life of my father. And it came to pass that my father did speak unto them in the valley of Lemuel, with power being filled with the Spirit, until their frames did shake before him. And he did confound them, that they durst not utter against them. Wherefore they did as he commanded them. And my father dwelt in a tent. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, being exceedingly young, nevertheless being large in stature, and also having great desires to know of the mysteries of God, wherefore I did cry unto the Lord, and behold, he did visit me, and did soften my heart, that I did believe all the words which had spoken by my father. Wherefore I did not rebel ag <coughs> excuse me. Wherefore I did not rebel against him like unto my brothers. And I spake unto Sam, making known unto him the things which the Lord manifested unto me by his Holy Spirit. And it came to pass that he believed in my words. But behold, Laman and Lemuel would not hearken unto my words. And being grieved because of the hardness of their hearts, I cried unto the Lord for them. And it came to pass that the Lord spake unto me, saying, Blessed art thou, Nephi, because of thy faith. For thou hast sought me diligently with lowliness of heart. And inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper and shall be led to the land of promise, yea, even the land which I have prepared for you, yea, a land which is choice above all other lands. And inasmuch as thy brethren shall rebel against thee, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And inasmuch as thou shalt keep my commandments, thou shalt be made a ruler and a teacher over thy brethren. For behold, in that day that shall rebel against me, I will curse them, even with a sore curse, and they shall have no power over thy seed, except that I shall rebel against me also. And if it so be that they rebel against me, they shall be a scourge unto thy seed, to stir them up in the ways of remembrance. Thank you. That's the end of part two.